if you are in the Auckland property market and you can pay the mortgage and you won't be hurt by a loss of job or interest rates rising should that happen in the years to come, this may be good news. Our reporter Tom Furley went out to Linfield, 15k from the Sky Tower, where prices in the West Auckland suburb have now topped a magic million for the first time. Recently retired, Derek Lewis has lived in his Linfield home on a quiet cul-de-sac for 30 years. Homes like his now sell above a million dollars. One down the street has an asking price of 1.1. But he and his neighbours don't feel like millionaires. Most of the people that are in this area uh, realise uh, you know, the worth of their house, but uh, they're not acting like millionaires, put it that way. Mm. Basically, um, average people that are just getting on with their lives, and most of them have lived here for a long time, so... Well, we're not extravagant, put it that way. <laughs> Further down the street, Ray Palmer's been there for 14 years. However, unless he moves out of the Auckland market, he says he and his neighbours won't benefit from the high property prices. Internally, they might feel that they are millionaires. It's <laughs> good because their house is worth, but are they really? <laughs> you know, it's a million and then it could be 1.5 million and then 2 million doesn't mean, you know, but then again... Because if I were to move out from here, then uh, around and about in within the Auckland area, not very far, then I'll be ending up paying, you know, more or less uh, around and about the same price. Jim Green and his wife have already experienced both of their inherited family home values skyrocket. According to QV, over the last three months, the difference between the sale price and CV in Linfield is 43%. But Mr Green says his Linfield home rising to above a million isn't necessarily a good thing. I'm not happy because I'm not ready to sell and uh, I have a couple more houses in Ponsonby and Westmere that are way over the million dollar mark. I'm paying it in rates and again I'm not interested in selling. My kids who live in those houses can't afford them, they can't buy them. Brian Stacey says there will be a lot of tears from people who've overpaid on their homes if or when things die down. And he says the million dollar price tag may make property owners try to live the life to match. People do think that who are told that the house is worth a million dollars, they're buying boats and new cars and with the money they're buying off the house, they might have a $900,000 house or a million dollar house, but if there's a collapse, or it might be only worth $600,000. And then they've got a car that they bought on a time payment and based on the house. Of Auckland's 210 suburbs, QV says 90 now average seven-digit sales figures. A three-bedroom home a few houses down from John Bentley has recently sold for just over the million-dollar mark. For the 41-year-old and his wife and four children, it means they've already accepted they'll never be able to afford a deposit for a home of their own. Pretty much cuts me out of the uh, market, so there's no other option for me but to rent up here in Auckland because of the price that's keep going up and up. But I've got no choice but to live in Auckland because work is up here. And my wife works up here as well, so with both of us working, there's no way we can afford to buy a house up here in Auckland. So problem at the moment because everyone's been cut out. For Checkpoint, Tom Furley.